Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. On today's episode of Topics, we're going to be looking at Christian values and why they're important in the home. So for this, I'm going to be reading select scriptures from the Bible to talk about uh, these values that are important. Now for families, it all starts with two people. A mother and a father. Genesis 2:24. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united in his wife, and they become one flesh. So it starts with a man and a woman, and that's important because that's God's design. Anything else is outside of God's plans. So it's one man, one woman that come together and they make a family. And then when parents have children, there's commands for the children as well. They need to follow the Bible, but in order to do so, they need to be taught by their parents. So we're gonna be reading this from Ephesians chapter six. Children obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. So if you have children with you, have them watch this because they should obey you. That is part of a Christian household. It's important to know that the parents are the authority of the house. So children, all children that are listening to this Listen to your parents, because that is what God designed. And now one of uh, my most famous or um, favorite Bible verses that's out there for raising a family is Proverbs 22, 6. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. So if you are raising a family and you're teaching them godly values, and you're making sure that they understand the importance of those values, even if for some reason in life they decide to walk away on a different path, the Bible says they will come back to it. So make sure that you are teaching your family about God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and what it means to be a Christ follower. The last important set of verses I want to read is Deuteronomy 6, 6 through 7. These commandments I have given you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie and when you get up. So it's important to sit down and actually talk to your children and talk to your family. It's very important. Now, when I was a child at one point, um, it was normal for Christian families to sit together and actually discuss things together. Uh, we had family meetings and we had family Bible studies. And we also sat down and we had dinner together. In today's society, that seems like that's not happening anymore. So that's something I ask Christians today. Maybe that's something we need to bring bring. bring be bringing back we need to change the way we do things we need to bring back Christ in our homes because honestly sending your kids to Sunday school one day a week that's not enough far from it we need to be doing the work at home because honestly if they're in a public school those schools aren't going to teach them anything about God at all. In fact, quite the opposite. So it is your job as parents, my job, because I have a son, my, our jobs are to train our child up in the way of the Lord, teach them good so they do not commit evil and grow up to serve the Lord. So I challenge everyone on here that's listening Let's do this. Let's make a difference. Let's make a change and start doing things differently. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. 
We will see you again on Friday for Fact Friday.